Hey guys. Today I'm gonna read more YouTube comments and Google Plus posts. Let's get started with the comments. The first comment is from the super cool guy 50,000, and he says, Can you please delete this? It will probably be archived by other people anyway, so there's no point of deleting a video from your channel. Also, why do you make it a big deal when your favorite character is disliked by some people? It's not like they'll attack you for having an opinion different from theirs. The next comment is from ESM on YouTube, and he says, If Michael the Go Animate Guy ever rants on me, Sesame Street, Arthur, the Bear Rants Tame Bears, Angelina Ballerina, the next steps, Jake and the Neverland Pirates, my friends Tigger and Pooh, Elena Cavler, the Pirate Fairy, my radio recordings with visual backgrounds, or my avatar, which is Zerina, of course, his account might be terminated. How could he possibly be terminated for ranting on a show that you like? I think it's funny how you say that a rant could get him terminated, yet most people in the comments can say Makiko to him without a problem. If you don't like his content, that's fine, but you don't need to attack him every time he uploads a video. I might not be a fan of the person in question, but still. The next comment is from Kyle Bush Rocks. And he says, don't you dare make a salute on Teen Titans Go. Because it stinks compared to the original. Also, how dare you like the Power of Girls for 2016, as you like the original version too. You know the reboot stinks and the original version rocks. First off, who the heck still talks about those two shows? This has been going on ever since they were announced back in 2016. It's getting old. Also, I think you should give reasons and evidence as to why you hate them instead of saying that it stinks because of someone else's opinion. The next comment is from Almiralvan, and he says, Frigging crap. It's my favorite show. So what? It's not the end of the world if someone does a rant on that show. Seriously, you say that you don't disrespect opinions, yet here you are doing just that. It's ironic, if you ask me. The next comment is from Andrew Imashima, and he says, Okay, I don't care, but if you make grounded videos out of users, you will be terminated Makiko. What about the people that go out of their way to hate on someone, after a person did a commentary in it? I think they should avoid witch hunting or lynch mobbing the people that others mention. They call attacking people criticism for some odd reason. The next comment is from Kirby Master 87 the Gamer, and he says, Makiko 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 Makiko. Now can you make a grounded series out of me? Why the heck would he want to make a grounded series out of you, if you specifically don't like grounded videos? Oh yeah that's right. You probably want to drive this guy out of social media over a rant that he did a few months ago. Christ. I understand that his content might not be good, but attacking him won't solve anything. The next comment is from Liliana by 15, and he or she says, MLP, FIM is the best show on earth. No it isn't. You're only saying that because he hates MLP. I don't even care for the show at all. I'll show you why you must be careful if you're a fan of that show. In this video, a nine-year-old kid was actually bullied by his teachers and classmates for bringing an MLP backpack to school. They even went as far as to ban the backpack just because it was a distraction to them. It's retarded how they did that over him liking and owning some supplies from My Little Pony. The next comment is from Kirby and Earth Down Fan 1992 and 1995, and he says, Start liking February. You know, this actually counts as disrespecting opinions. You say that you don't do that crap, yet you forced him to like February. Really? It's frigging retarded now. The next comment is from Zoe the Pikachu Lover 2005, and she says, February is the shortest month ever, you idiot. We already know. There's no need to point out the obvious. As for Michael, February has 28 days on non-leap years, 
and 29 days on leap years. How is it the longest month? The next comment is from C.M. Guy, and he says, Stop censoring swear words. What, if the person was a Christian and he decided that he didn't want to swear on their channel? They don't have to swear, if they don't want to. Then again, it's pretty obvious that some people are annoyed with others censoring swear words in their videos. The next comment is from Scott the Real Fan Established 1998, and he says, This just proves that you're a UTTP member. This has to be the dumbest proof I've ever heard. Just, because he supports people you don't like doesn't mean that he's a part of the UTTP. What is with people mentioning that group every time a person tries to move on from a situation? Move on from this cartoon police bullcrap already. The next comment is from Gumball Fanatic ESTD 1996, and he says, Okay, but apologize to Ines Thomas, then you'll see, everybody on YouTube will like you. First off, even if he apologized to Ines, they would probably deny his apology anyway, usually because some people seem to have hate obsessions over this guy just because he shared his opinion on a user everyone likes. You know, not everyone has to like in his or her content. I know it may make you angry, but it's the internet, and she needs to get that through her head. Also, I like how people call that criticism. Denying apologies is not an example of criticism. It's just bullying on their part. The next comment is from Ines Thomas, and she says, Go Animate Fanboy. The video wasn't even made with Go Animate, so your assumption is not needed here. It may look like it, but it was made with the Piccolage app. Also, some of your friends make dead meat videos all the time, and they get away with it without a problem. I don't get some people. Call out one person for doing dead meat videos. But don't call out the rest of the group, because they are friends with you. How ironic is that? The next comment is from Blossom Peace, and she says, Learn how to take criticism. Have you seen half of the comments on his channel? They are mainly filled with people who are telling him to leave the internet, kill himself, make a dead meat or user video out of someone they like for more negativity, etc. You call that crap criticism? Seriously, learn the difference between criticism and forcing others to do what they want. I'm not trying to be rude, but I don't appreciate how people take this criticism thing out of context and use it against the other person. The next comment is also from Ines Thomas, and she says, The season finale will come soon, so please, vote for Indigo's app to win. What would happen if that character didn't win? Oh yeah, you would probably cry over it, because that is one of the characters that you like. Seriously, you can't expect everyone to vote for the same character as you all the time. What, if some people didn't like the character in general and wanted him to be eliminated? Would you bash their opinion and force them to vote for her to win? Jesus frigging Christ. This reminds me of the time when Sky had so many immunities in character elimination. God, I don't want to remember Lime's reaction to her getting eliminated. The next comment is from Code Lyako FTW Alvin and the Chipmunks FTL, and he says, Emily can go screw herself. Whoa. I understand that she posted someone's look without permission, but she apologized after that and took down the video. We all ran into a mistake like that at some point. Heck. Even Cheekook showed his house to the public a few months ago. I don't want to show it in this video, because it would be stupid of me to do. The best thing to do is to move on from that situation. The next comment is also from Almy Rowlin, and he says, I agree with you Indran. The fact that Emily can get into serious trouble for exposing someone's real life look. That is complete bullcrap. Agreed. Luckily she apologized to Tommy for trains for doing that. The moral of the comment is don't show the real life looks of other people without their consent. It will most likely invade their privacy. The next comment is from African Vulture, and she says, 
Michael the Goanimate guy obviously doesn't understand what an opinion is. This would also go for the people that obviously go to Conor and Michael's channels and bash their opinions on stuff that they like or hate. Seriously, they could disrespect their opinion whenever they want, yet, if someone else does the same thing, they flip out like babies. You know, how come they get a pass for doing that bullcrap? At least give these people room to have their own point of view on something. The next comment is from Crimson Rants and Bashes, and she says, Michael the Go Animate Guy is a joke. Oh really? Take a look at your message to those who keep messing with users they hate video and tell me that it isn't ironic. In this video, you're telling people to ignore the users they hate, yet you and your fans are messing with Michael the Go Animate Guy for no reason. I understand you don't like him, but it doesn't mean that you have to keep tormenting him 24-7. You even disabled the comments on the video, so people don't have a different point of view on it. Really? At least keep the comments section open, so people can express their opinions on the topic at hand. That's why the comments section was made in the first place. The next comment is from Benjamin Fiedler the Meme Collector. And he says, is it based off to Sam the Vlogger's Microsoft Sam Reads YouTube and Google Plus comments? By the way, I agree. Well, I watched Callie's video, and I have to say that it's a little similar, but the video was created using her real-life voice. I actually read some comments using my real-life voice before, and I have to admit, it was decent. The next comment is from Biddy Watterson. And she says, this is awesome. I agree with all those comments you agree with. Honestly, I don't agree with Christian's comment, where he said that Go Animate was ruined because of him. Really? What about all of those grounded, user and dead meat videos that some of you used to do back in the day? You don't think that might have been the cause? Heck, some of you decided to fight over small things and force others to have the same opinion as you. You even claim that dating a person is taking them seriously, while in my point of view, everyone has the right to form their own thoughts on certain people. Come on yo. I hope you guys got your act together after that. The next comment is from Neil Parker Jr., and he says, Unhappy birthday to you. Unhappy birthday to you, Alvin Hung Hater. You're saying that phrase all because of him dating Alvin Hung? Jesus frigging Christ. While I understand that Alvin Hung is innocent, I feel like people went as far as to force others to like him. It's kinda retarded. The next comment is from Super Sente and Thomas the Tank Engine Fanatic established 2003, and he says, this video is ironic. While I agree that his video was ironic because of him disrespecting opinions, I think most of his haters are ironic as well. Some of them did go rants on cartoons and people before, and no one made a big deal about that, yet everyone makes a big deal, if he does a go rant on something he hates. Seriously? I don't get it. The next comment is from Bully, and he says, can't you just accept that you have haters? I actually agree with this comment. You see, when you get a fan base, you also get haters. The best way to deal with those is to just ignore them and move on with your day. The next comment is from Angel of Death, and he says, Your rants are crappy. While I agree, I think the rants I mentioned earlier are crappy as well. Besides, what's the point of doing rants in Go Animate, if you aren't gonna give any reasons why you hate the show, game, movie, etc.? The next comment is from TacoTube Animations. And he says, there's a reason why copyright strikes exist. Agreed. If someone uploads a full movie or episode of a cartoon or just re-uploads someone's work without permission, that's when those strikes will occur. It happens to everyone at some point. The next comment is from Miles from Tomorrowland and BGSM Fan 2005. And he says, hey, go have butt intercourse with Chido Narvisa. I'm pretty sure he doesn't know who that person is. Also, what does that have to do with the video that he made? 
intercourse could actually give you STDs, so I recommend just avoiding that activity. The next comment is from Yellow Lacquers, and he says, his videos make me want to drink bleach. I hope you don't drink that stuff whatsoever. It will poison you and lead to death. You don't want that to happen, right? The next comment is from Raid Overseer's Copy Production, and he says, Why the heck did you get revived? Die, please. No. I'm not gonna die just because you told me to. Besides, I'm not stupid like that. The next comment is from Nathan the Player, and he says, 500 internal server error, sorry, an error occurred and Microsoft Mike has been dispatched to deal with the situation. What incarnations would Microsoft Mike even do anyway, besides from wasting my free time? Come on now. He would probably make the error worse than it already is. The next comment is from Augustus Games, and he says, What you Microsoft said? How many times do I have to tell you? Stop calling me a sleeping lady. You want to know how retarded you are? I can really speak like a man, but no, thanks to my evil plans, you have to slip out that lady's voice excuse me in this simulation. Jesus freaking Christ, you are never meant to stop calling me a lady. You only have 60 seconds to stop calling me a lady and move on from this crap or I'm going to call Microsoft Bacon so he can cover your computer with Bacon. Just stop calling me a lady now, now. Did you hear what I said Microsoft said? That's what I thought. Screw off. First of all, calm down. You made my ears bleed by doing that ridiculous rage. Second of all, I can call you a lady whenever I want, and you don't need to get your swabbings in a bunch. Who oh, what's that you say? There's some swab in the back of the trailer? Heck no. I'm not falling for your trick again. The next comment is from Almy Rowland, and he says, Hi. I'm Microsoft Sam Jr. And today I am going to do a rant on Microsoft Sam. Microsoft Sam. More like Microsoft Jerk. This guy stinks. He always attacks me just because I stole his tacos. Do you know who likes Microsoft Sam? Almy Rowland. And do you know who hates Microsoft Sam? Me. So curse Microsoft Sam. And curse Almy Rowland. Microsoft Bacon is way better than Microsoft Sam. End of rant. If you like him, you are grounded forever. Go to bed now. Grounded threats are a waste of time. It's not gonna help you in any way, and your rant was full of lies and crap. Go do something else with your life. The funniest part about this is that Microsoft Bacon and Gold agree with the rant. They must be coming up with some evil plans that aren't gonna go anywhere. The next two comments are also from Almy Rowland, and he says, Microsoft Mary is confirmed to be a man. I do not talk like a frigging man, you turd. Why does everybody keep on calling me a man? Screw you Microsoft Sam and your stupid buddies. I hope you die in a car crash. Microsoft Mary, you are under arrest for sending a death threat to Microsoft Sam. Get in the police car now. Darn you Microsoft Sam. Why do you always have to ruin the fun all the time? It doesn't make sense. I'm sorry for saying a death threat at you. Please don't let them take me away. It's too late for that young lady. You should have thought about that before you said that to me. Into jail you go. Phew. I'm glad that's over. The next comment is from the Green Ninja Master 2004, and he says, Leave him and me alone. What did he even do that time? He only agreed with Almir that Taylor's team family is stupid. What more do you want? I don't get it. The next comment is from Grand Theft Auto and South Park Gangster 469, and he says, How would you like to burn in heck? Whoa. There's no need to say that to anyone, even if it's a person you hate. I also think that Chair of the Fallen Human has a point about by the numbers lists being bad. All they are is just a slideshow with characters ranging from the best to worst. How do you get entertainment out of that? I guess people have different tastes in what content they see. The last comment is also from Nathan the Player, and he says, Dad, can I have the new Nintendo Switch? No no no. First of all, you are immature. Second, it's sold out and third, it costs $320, £280, without a game. Yeah. 
Microsoft Sam Jr., you're also a spoiled brat for always trying to give me your frigging attention all the time. Quit bothering me already. On to the posts now. The first post is from Farhan the movie guy, and he says, Yet ladies and gentlemen, I just changed my profile picture, and it's more of yours truly. Me. Yep, it's me, yours truly, as my new icon, yet again, lol. So what do y'all think? Please share your opinions in the comments below. Well Farhan, your profile picture looks cool. Thanks for sharing it to Google Plus for me and my friends to see. The next post is from the Sony fangirl one, and she says, Hello, everyone. Welcome to another unboxing video. In this unboxing video, I unbox an Xbox One game called Gears of War 4. I hope you enjoy it. Fun fact, I got this game on October 11th, since I pre-ordered the game when the beta came out. But I got the Xbox One S bundle for Christmas. It's a huge present for me, and I think the console looks awesome. The next post is also from the Sony Fangirl One, and she says, Oh boy. The classic Google Plus is con for good now. I really don't like the new Google Plus. It's so confusing for me, and I love the old Google Plus. To be honest, I actually like the new Google Plus layout. It's interesting to me, but your opinion is respected. I miss the classic Google Plus as well, but it had to go eventually. The next post is from Callie J. Thompson, and she says, For any of you Callie and Jack supporters out there, check out this picture I made. It's Jackie and Caleb, the distaff counterparts of me and Jack, holding hands in a heart. I drew this for fun. Yo. It's a very nice picture. How long did this take you to complete? Half of this heart is blue, my favorite color, and the other half is purple. Interesting. The next post is from Skylar the Colored Guard Gal, and she says, Good night 5 seconds of summer fam. Can't wait for a lot of photos with the llama. Excuse me ma'am, but what is the llama? I wanna know, because I never heard of this before. The next post is from Super Sente and Thomas the Tank Engine Fanatic established 2003, and he says, Good news. Today is Takaki's 30th birthday after him being on Risha Sente to Jer for 2014 to 2016. He is now 30 years old in 2017. Make sure you wish him a happy birthday. Well, happy belated birthday to him, even though I wished him a happy birthday in a reply to this post. The next post is also from Super Sente and Thomas the Tank Engine Fanatic established 2003, and he says, What do you think of this game? Me, it is another awesome game I have heard about. If you didn't know what this game is, this game is called Bully Scholarship Edition. I heard of this game and played it when I was about 12 or so, and it's a very good game. The next post is from the fun-loving user, and he says, What's your opinion on Black Jilton? He's mean to Microsoft's fam. Hem hem. I would recommend keeping him away from me, as he has done evil things to me. No one voted for bad or abomination, but the fun-loving user and I voted for evil. Very interesting, if you ask me. The next post is from Roblox Rules, and he says, Bacon, 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 needs more bacon, 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 you thought you got rid of me. Well, guess what, Microsoft Sam, you are not going to get away with it this time, and I will turn you into a girl, so people will laugh at you, and they will laugh at you and say, Oh my god, Microsoft Sam is a girl, let's laugh at him. Ha 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 and I will tell Robozoft about this. Hello, Robozoft, this is Microsoft Bacon, and can you break into his house? Thank you, bye. Well, 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 Microsoft Sam, for trying to kill me with your gun, I'm calling my parents to beat you up for what you did to me. Microsoft Sam, hold it right there, you are not going anywhere, and what did you to our son. I beat him up. Um, I couldn't understand you that time. Your voice made me deaf, and I can't hear anything. Oh wait, it's your butthurt behavior again. I see. Well, it's not gonna work on me, because we all know that you're only embarrassing yourself. 
Leave now, before I break your processor. The next post is from Almy Rowland, and he says, I've changed my icon again guys, since today is Sunday. And, of course, it's Greg Heffley this time. What do you guys think of my new icon? Comment below. Well, it looks cool. I mean, I used to read and watch Diary of a Wimpy Kid when I was little, and it's great. The next post is also from Almy Rowland, and he says, Man, I am starting to think I am about to start ignoring Connor Dooley from now on. Why? Because I took Connor Dooley very seriously like a butthurt coward. I will just ignore him from now. That's good to hear Almir. I already started to ignore him, because it's not worth giving him attention at all. The next post is also from Almir Allen, and he says, Shut up Team Family Fan 2016. Sakura FTW Ju7641 FTL Winter Fan 2016 TFC hates you nowadays for disturbing her while making a movie. Really? She hates the person just because she distracted her while making a movie. Wow. I watched a few of the movies she made, and it's just boring to me. All it is is just music in the background with comedy world avatars. How do you expect someone to sit through an hour and a half of just that without being bored? The last post is also from Almir Allen, and he says, Good morning guys. I would like to say that it's my birthday today. And yes, I'm 14 years old now. Please go wish me a happy birthday in the comments below, and yes, school today. Plus, today is the day that Nintendo Switch came out, so I hope you're excited to get that system today. So yeah. Well, the system is already sold out in stores, since a lot of people pre-ordered the console. I have to admit, it's cool, how you can plug it into the DJ or take the console anywhere you want, and you would still have the game on your device. I might think about getting it in the future. Also, Happy belated birthday to you, even though I wished you a happy birthday in a Google Plus post. That will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Tim terminated, yet most people in the comments can say Makiko to him without a problem. If you don't like his content, that's fine, but you don't need to attack him every time he uploads a video. I might not be a fan of the person in question. But still. The next comment is from Kyle Bush Rocks, and he says, Don't you dare make a salute on Teen Titans Go! Because it stinks compared to the original. Also, how dare you like the Power of Girls for 2016, as you like the original version to does a rant on that show. Seriously, you say that you don't disrespect opinions, yet here you are doing just that. It's ironic, if you ask me. The next comment is from Andrew Imashima, and he says, Okay, I don't care, but if you make grounded videos out of users, you will be terminated Makiko. What about the people that go out of their way to hate on someone, after a person did a commentary in it? I think they should avoid witch hunting or lynch mobbing the people that others mention. They call it, Hey guys. Today I'm gonna read more YouTube comments and Google Plus posts. Let's get started with the comments. The first comment is from the super cool guy 50,000, and he says, Can you please delete this? It will probably be archived by other people anyway, so there's no point of deleting a video from your channel. Also, why do you make it a big deal when your favorite character is disliked by some people? It's not like they'll attack you, for having an opinion different from theirs. The next comment, ew. You know the reboot stinks and the original version rocks. First off, who the heck still talks about those two shows? This has been going on ever since they were announced back in 2016. It's getting old. Also, I think you should give reasons and evidence as to why you hate them instead of saying that it stinks because of someone else's opinion. The next comment is from Almir Allen, and he says, Frigging crap. It's my favorite show. So what? It's not the end of the world, 
if someone's from ESM on YouTube, and he says, if Michael the Go Animate guy ever rants on me, Sesame Street, Arthur, the Bear Rants Tame Bears, Angelina Ballerina, The Next Steps, Jake and the Neverland Pirates, my friends Tigger and Pooh, Elena Cadler, the Pirate Fairy, my radio recordings with visual backgrounds, or my avatar, which is Zerina, of course, his account might be terminated. How could he possibly be terminated for ranting on a show that you like? I think it's funny how you say that a rant could get